Investors are hopeful that the sun will shine brilliantly on Wednesday to allow some action. However, there was play at the last just playing field in St. David after lunch in the game between Grenada and St. Lucia. At Stumps on the opening day, St. Lucia reached 135 for 5. Tyrek Gabriel hit the top score of 44, and there was also undefeated knocks of 38 by Kelly Les Paris and 24 by Jason Smith. Leon Pascal was the best bowler with figures of 13 overs, 1 maiden, 43 runs, 3 wickets. Dennis George has figures of 13 overs, 3 maidens, 45 runs. He has taken the other wicket. Coach Otis Gibson and skipper Darren Sammy are calling for consistency as the West Indies face New Zealand in the second test in Wellington, which began a short while ago. They say that both batsmen and bowlers need to show patience and consistency if the team is to win the second test. Batsmen need to dig in and play long innings, like Bravo did in the second innings, while bowlers need to hold good line and length to exert pressure on the opposition. These were badly lacking in the first test, and Gibson and Sammy want the players to get it right. The toss could be a key factor, with the pitch, which is green, expected to provide the bowlers with some assistance on the first day. Gibson says the likes of Best, Gabriel, uh, Cottrell, and Sammy must use it to their advantage, give them the chance. And I'll tell you what, the West Indies had the chance to use the wicket or the uh, green pitch because they were bowling first, and uh, 10 minutes ago, we understand that New Zealand, they were 16 for 1 after about half an hour of play. Peter Fulton, the man out, caught, at, caught behind, um, caught Ramdeen, bowled uh, Sammy for 6. Best has so far bowled 2 overs, no maidens, 11 runs, uh, no wicket. Gabriel, 5 overs, 2 maidens, 5 runs, no wicket. And the successful bowler so far, Sammy, 3.3 overs, uh, 3 maidens, 2 runs for one wicket. Volleyball officials are expecting a keen and exciting secondary school's volley rama Thursday at the Royal St. John playing field in Chantine. Twenty teams, a male, uh, ten males and as many females are competing in the event from 10 o'clock in the morning. Coach Raphael Baffitt says that the teams are all geared for battle. In the female division we know that um, Grenville Secondary had been undefeated since we revived this volleyball back in Grenada. Um, they are the defending champion also and uh, we have teams like from St. Rose, Modern Secondary also is a very good team. We have two teams from um, teams from Convent so overall I think that the female um, is growing rapidly. A lot of females is playing volleyball right now. Um, in the male division we have um, McDonald College which I think is a powerhouse right now. Very very good team. They are also the defending champion. And we're looking at teams like GBSS, um, St. Rose. Braffitt speaks about the format being employed for the competition. We could have our own robin first. Like we go, we want to set up about about eight to ten, about eight nets, right? Like different courts. So we're going to have four teams, four teams playing there. And um, what we do, we play our own robin. We're going to have like in the female division, we're going to have two. We're going to have two zones. And out of the two zones, we're going to take the two, the two top winners. And the two top winners, like, eight, are like one going to play two and two going to, um, in the other zone. And then you're going to get the, the winner. Also, we're going to do the same thing with the, with, the, with the male team. Meanwhile, a big showdown is expected Sunday at the final, in the final of the men's volleyball tournament at Library Sports Complex. Uh, it's a much anticipated clash between Coasters of St. Patrick and St. George Outfit, identity unknown. The second semi-final game on Sunday produced quality volleyball. To be honest, it's a lot of years I haven't seen a, a really competitive game. We, um, in, in the male division, this was, I don't know how to describe it. It's a pity that we didn't have it on tape so that we could have seen it over and over. It, it was really a high standard match. It was um, between um, co-stars from, from St. Patrick's and identity unknown from St. George's. And they went to our five sets. and. Uh, it was a it was a real night. Uh, it was a nail biting, yes. But uh, however, um, Costa from St. Patrick's end of um, victorious. They were, they won the last set, I think, um, nineteen seventeen. National volleyball coach uh, Rafael Baffitt. The ladies' final will feature a clash between City Hawks and the winner of the Thursdays encounter between Coasters and Identity Unknown. 
Maria Francois and Kevin Charles are the winners of the under-18 titles of the Fort Sol Secondary School Table Tennis Championships held over the weekend, last Friday to be exact. Francois from St. David's or St. Joseph's Convent St. Andrew won the ladies' title, beating Sukanya Palisno St. Mark's Secondary School, while Charles from St. John's Christian Secondary beat Aziz Noel of St. Rose Secondary to win the boys' event. Sukana Patterson of St. Rose Modern Secondary won the girls on the 15 singles competition, beating Nabrusha Sutherland of St. Joseph's Convent in Andrew. J. Oliver of St. Rose Modern Secondary captured the boys' version, beating fellow teammate Aziz Noel in the final. Sukana Patterson was the most improved girls player, while Yusuf Stafford of uh, PBC, President Brothers College, was named the most improved boys' player. The outstanding players were Sukana Patterson and Akim Noel. Finally, a one-week uh, javelin workshop is taking place at the National Stadium in St. George's. The event organized by the Grenada Olympic Committee, GOC, is uh, seeking to enhance the sport across the Eastern Caribbean. 30 participants from St. Vincent and Grenadines, the British Virgin Islands, the BVI, St. Kitts and Howard's Grenada are attending the workshop, which began on Monday. It's been conducted by local coaches Paul Phillip and Curlin Peters. That sports, I'm Trevor Thwaites. The government of Grenada is developing a gender policy through the Gender Equality Policy and Action Plan, GPAP. Do you know what gender equity is? Gender equity is where everyone gets their fair share according to their needs. Gender equity is about protecting your human rights. GPAP. Be informed. GPAP. Get informed. The final results will affect us all. This has been a message from the Ministry of Social Development and Housing. Thank you, Trevor, for this evening's sports segment. Now to recap the main points in the news. A series of revenue earning measures unveiled in the 2014 budget announced in Parliament on Tuesday. Government delivering on promise to create more jobs and construction growth by 20%, contributing to economic growth. The Government Information Service will continue to bring you highlights of the budget debate as it continues in the coming days. We ask you to stay tuned to our evening newscast every evening at 6. On behalf of everyone here at the Government Information Service, I am Abigail McIntyre. Thank you for joining us.